What if I tell you that if you have been using the same password for multiple websites from a long, long time, your password is probably already cracked. That's right. Your password is potentially even exposed publicly on the internet for literally anyone to view. But how is that possible? Because you certainly did not leak your password yourself, right? I'll explain. Many websites that you use on the internet require you to log in, which means you need to first register on that website with details like your username, email, and a password. So every time you type a password on any website and click login or register, you're basically sending your password to the website's server. The password is saved in the website's database so that it can be used to authenticate you. That's a basic concept and I'm sure everyone using the internet understands this. There are two scenarios here. Scenario one, if the website you're using is a malicious one, it means you're basically just giving away your password to a malicious actor who is handling that malicious website. But this shouldn't be a problem unless you have a bad habit of using the same password across all the websites that you use. If this is the case, the hacker can simply just collect your password from his malicious website database and use it on other websites or services that you use, like Twitter, Facebook, Gmail, you name it. This is called credential stuffing. Scenario two, if the website you're using is a legitimate one, like let's say facebook.com, then it means your password is probably not captured by a malicious actor. It is captured by Facebook and stored by Facebook on its database securely, but it still can be leaked online through data breaches. A data breach happens when a hacker or a group of hackers target a website and successfully hack it, exfiltrate all the data and make it publicly available on the internet, either for sale or just for free of cost. Although it's safe to say that any data breach will eventually be available for free to download over time. And let me tell you, it is common for even big companies to suffer data breaches. Even companies like Facebook and LinkedIn, who has some of the best engineers in the world, had suffered massive data breaches in the past. And all of that breached data is still publicly available if you know where to look. What I mean to say is that any website can get breached. Hackers are always trying to breach data from companies and when they're successful, it means that the data of all the users of that website is compromised. For example, very recently, an Indian grocery platform called Big Basket has been breached and over 20 million customer records are compromised, which contain details like emails, phone numbers, addresses, and even passwords. This whole data is literally available for anyone to download on some hacking forums. So let's say you have an account on this website, bigbasket.com, which got breached. Since this website is breached, it means your sensitive data on that website, including your password, is also compromised. And if you are using this same compromised password on some other website, like let's say facebook.com or twitter.com, hackers can simply perform credential stuffing and use your compromised password to take over your Facebook or your Twitter account. But fortunately, it's not as easy as it sounds. Before a password is saved on a website's database, it is passed through a hashing algorithm which converts the plain text form of the password into something known as a hash. This hash cannot be reversed back into its plain text form. So even if there was a data breach and all the user data of a website is stolen, the hackers still cannot see the actual password of the users. All they see is a password hash that cannot be reversed back into the actual password. This is obviously a good security practice because your passwords are not saved in plain text. Instead, they are stored in a safe cryptic form that no one can understand. But that's not the end of the issue. Hackers can still crack your passwords using a technique known as brute forcing. The concept of brute forcing is really simple. You basically take a list of potential passwords and pass each password through the same hashing algorithm that was used by the breached website. 
and keep checking the hashed output of each password with the leaked password hash. If at any point the hashes match, it means the password is cracked and now we have the plain text form of the password hash. There are many tools that can crack passwords using brute forcing really, really fast. One such tool is called Hashcat. For example, let's say I extracted this particular hash from a data breach and I want to crack it. I can simply pass this hash into a hash identifying tool and quickly get to know the hashing algorithm that is used to generate this particular hash. Now that I know the type of hash, I will fire up Hashcat by giving it the hashing type, the hash to crack, and a word list that contains all the potential passwords. In this case, I'm using a word list known as rockyou.txt, which contains over 14 million unique passwords that are commonly used. When I run this command, Hashcat will begin the brute forcing and it will go through each password in the word list, apply the hashing algorithm and check if the output matches the target hash to be cracked. The time to crack a password hash obviously depends on the strength of the password. If the password is strong, then it may take a really, really long time for Hashcat to crack it, or it may not even be able to crack it. But in this case, the password I'm trying to crack is not really that strong. And hence, Hashcat was able to crack it very quickly. Since the passwords leaked in data breaches are publicly available, it is very likely that someone else has already cracked the password hashes in a breach. This makes it even more easier for threat actors to perform credential stuffing because they don't even have to crack your password hash. So if you want to check whether your password is exposed in any data breach, you can use this website called Have I Been Pwned. Simply head over to haveibeenpwned.com and type in your email or your phone number and click search. The website will then tell you if any of your sensitive details have been leaked or compromised in data breaches and it will also tell you in what exact breach your data is compromised. You can then go ahead and immediately change all your compromised passwords. You can even get notified if in the future any data breach occurs that contain your personal details. The best way to stay safe from credential stuffing is to use a unique randomly generated password for each website that you use. You can manage all your randomly generated passwords with a password manager so that you don't have to remember each one of them. If you're on Linux, you can use the open source command line password manager called pass to generate random strong passwords and save them securely so that you can extract them whenever you like using a master password. If you're on Windows, you can use the open source password manager like KeePass to do the same. All right, so that'll be it for this video. I hope you liked it. I hope you learned something new. If you did like this video, please do not forget to leave a thumbs up below. And if you're not yet a subscriber, please also hit that subscribe button and also turn on the bell icon to receive instant updates from my channel. So I'll see you in the next video. Until then, cheers.